Hello everyone, my name is Engineer Arjun Singh. Today I am going to tell you about the term vortex shedding. So let's begin. First of all, we need to understand why do we need to uh, construct or we need to eliminate the uh, wind pressure that would be coming on the structure because uh, it is a lateral pressure and it is a destabilizing pressure like earthquake. So it can destabilize your structure and the structure can uh, eventually uh, fall. Now, uh, when we consider high, uh, when we uh, design high rise buildings, for example, if we uh, take an example of Burj Khalifa, in case of Burj Khalifa, basically uh, it was purposely designed uh, in a Y shape uh, when we look into the plan so that to eliminate the wind pressure that would be coming on the uh, structure because it is a very high uh, structure and the uh, wind uh, velocity at higher level is very much uh, prominent and it could uh, deteriorate or it could uh, distort the uh, you can say the center of the uh, mass of the structure and the structure could eventually uh, uh, fall or uh, could be damaged now uh, when we consider uh, in case of high-rise building the term vortex shedding is very much uh, important and the term vortex basically means that it is basically a circular uh, movement of the uh, fluid which could be air or which could be water in such a way that it revolves around its uh, own axis uh, so uh, when we consider a structure and wind is flowing in this direction vortex are being shed now uh, this is very important because the vortex should be shed in a uniform uh, manner if they are not uniform they could uh, basically uh, dis uh, disturb the integrity of the structure and uh, this term basically is very much uh, important now when we consider uh, small uh, uh, small rise building or you can say low, low rise building in that case we don't need to uh, consider these uh, uh, factors uh, let's say if you are designing a duplex or if you are uh, designing a uh, villa in that case you don't need to consider these uh, particular uh, points but the vote is can be eliminated and uh, in that case uh, basically you can uh, uh, make the structure more uh, and more uh, safer so this is a little bit uh, of introduction to the term vortex shedding we'll be discussing this in the upcoming lectures also so thank you everyone for watching